Jay, it's a real pleasure to welcome you. And in society, we look at words like fear, we look at words like failure, and there's such a negative connotation around these words. But if you really think about it, it is in the moments of failure, it is in the moments of fear that we truly grow the most. And so if we're able to shift our perception from this negative twist on fear and instead look at it as a learning opportunity, an opportunity to expand your thoughts and your minds, an opportunity to grow out of your comfort zone. Everyone always says life begins at the edge of your comfort zone, but let's actually start operating there. And when we're able to change our perception of fear, we realize that fear is actually a great thing. And last and most importantly is to take massive action. Great leaders know how to take action. Tony Robbins says that knowledge is not power. Knowledge is only potential power. And whether you apply my framework or whether you apply some of the resources that MindTrust has given to you guys over the last few weeks, if you do not apply them, you will not see a dramatic impact in the way you think and the way that you do things on a day-to-day -day basis. Going back to my own story, um, you know, I realized that I was writing the same goals year after year after year. And just writing it was enough for me to put it off for another year. And I never achieved any great result because I was so scared to take action. Well, I did what a lot of people will not do, which is take action. A big goal of mine was to, you know, start traveling the world. And another was to learn a third language. And so I went online. I looked at some programs in Shanghai, and uh, I bought my plane ticket. I set a date, and I did something about it. Same philosophy when you start a business. You set a date, and you teach yourself all the necessary skills. I taught myself how to create a website, how to do website design. I taught myself copywriting, blogging, you name it. But as an entrepreneur, as a leader, you have to do certain things to make sure that you are making the action for your better future. And really, it's that simple. You know, it's, it's really funny because the more time you actually stay in inaction, your brain starts selling you to actually be there. It's the logical choice to not make an action. So the only way to bypass this is to start moving fast. And that's really it. It's, uh, it starts with accepting. It goes into learning how to embrace it. But at the end, it's all about taking action. I know I went through it relatively fast, um, and it's just due to time constraints, but if you guys are interested and wanted to do a deeper dive of any of this, please feel free to visit my website, www.thejwong.com. I've actually put together an entire ebook on overcoming your own self-imposed fears, becoming fearless, and hopefully this is going to give you guys a better platform and a different way to think about things. And um, I think it's actually really necessary for us to go through periods in our life where we don't know what's going to happen, where we're filled with anxiety and we feel that we're filled with indecision. But I actually think it's absolutely necessary to realize our dreams and for us to make strides in getting there. And I'll leave you guys with this. Does anyone actually know what they say the wealthiest place in the world is? Anybody? They say the wealthiest place in the world is in the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, there are books that have never been written, songs that have never been sung, businesses never started, but more importantly, dreams never realized. And I really hope that you guys leverage the relationships and the information here into bouncing you into whatever that next level is. And I promise you, the world is growing at an exponential rate right now. They are not only craving, but begging for leaders to stand up, leaders to guide us to a better future, leaders that can overcome their self-imposed fears, leaders that can teach others how to and be a role model not only for their siblings and families, but for the community and society at all. I remember sitting where, once where you guys were sitting and someone said, leadership within is not about succeeding by ourselves. Leadership is about succeeding by being ourselves and meeting the people along the way to help us. And so, once again, congratulations to the young leaders sitting in front of me. I know you guys have all made strives and initiatives to all be here. And I want you guys to go out there, show your humanity, fumble around, be a human being, 
but most importantly, overcome your fear and be able to take action. Thank you for your time.